most of you aren't subscribed. Make sure to slash that subscribe button, as it helps out the channel. Without further ado, even without the other two, Tanjiro continues to train, eventually making steady progress with his total concentration breathing. Seeing Tanjiro persevere, Zenitsu and Inosuke meet with Shinobu, who reveals that Tanjiro is working to grow stronger as a fighter. As the two begin to train, they soon give up, knowing that there is a long journey ahead. But Shinobu takes advantage of both their insecurities, firing Inosuke and Zenitsu up, and prompting the two to join Tanjiro with his training. Seeing the others play, Shinobu asks for Kanao to join them, but Kanao flips a coin, but decides not to join in, seeing the result of the coin. Flashing back, we see that Kanao had come from a dirt-poor background, having been captured and put out as a slave. One day, Shinobu and her older sister saw potential in the young girl, and were able to clean her up and give her a new life. As a memory from Shinobu's older sister, Kanao was given a coin, and instructed to flip the coin, allowing the coin to decide her decisions, when she was unsure. The next day, both Tanjiro and Inosuke await the arrival of their new blades. Seeing Haganezuka, Tanjiro cheerfully waves him down, but is forced to dodge Haganezuka's murderous intent. Apologizing for breaking the previous sword, Haganezuka forged, and seeing Inosuke receive his new blades, Tanjiro and Inosuke bid the blacksmiths farewell. Continuing their training, Tanjiro impresses the others, as he's finally able to catch up with Kanao, able to catch her whilst playing tag, and even outmatching her agility. Seeing as their rival has grown so much, Zenitsu and Inosuke ramp up their training, attempting to catch up with Tanjiro. In the meantime, Shinobu inspects Tanjiro's injuries, confirming that most of his wounds have indeed taken the opportunity. Tanjiro questions Shinobu on the origins of the fire breathing technique, but Shinobu has no intel. Shinobu mentions how the flame Hashira, Rengoku may know something about the fire breathing origins, but he's currently on a mission. Before Tanjiro leaves, Shinobu states that she expects big things from him. That night, Tanjiro chats to the sleeping Nezuko, stating that he'll do his best to find a cure for Nezuko, and that by getting stronger he can slowly see a future of that happening. The next day, Tanjiro is able to evenly match Kanao's agility, having won 10 games and lost 10 games. Seeing as he's been using total concentration breathing, Tanjiro checks out the other's progress. Several months ago, the five lower demons of Muzan's twelve demon moons, were summoned into a mysterious labyrinth. As the five look around for their sixth member, they notice a woman demon giving off a mysterious aura. Suddenly they all bow their heads, realizing that Muzan had disguised his physical form, whilst altering his aura to resemble someone completely different. Revealing that Rui, the rank fifth lower moon demon, had been slayed, Muzan questions why the lower moon demons are so weak. It's revealed that the six upper moon demons have never died and are responsible for slaying Hashiras, whilst the lower moon have always been replaced, due to them always dying. As one of the demons thinks bad about Muzan, Muzan reveals that he can read their mind, killing the demon for even thinking negatively of their masters. Asking another demon if they fear Hashiras or their creator more, Muzan kills another, unsatisfied with their response. When one attempts to flee, Muzan makes use of the make-like labyrinth, catching the demon, and decapitating him. Seeing a fourth demon ask for his blood, Muzan becomes enraged, seeing his own creation give him orders, killing the- Turning his sights to the fifth and final demon, Muzan becomes impressed by the demon's masochistic tendency, gifting the demon with some of his blood. Ordering the demon to slay a Hashira, Muzan adds that if he's able to slay Tanjiro, Muzan will reward him. Back with the three boys, we see the three learn that they are to head to a train, where Rengoku is currently stationed, helping him with his mission. Apparently, Shinobu had recommended the three to the master, hoping the three could grow from facing off with stronger demons. Additionally, Shinobu hopes that Tanjiro can learn more about his fire breathing, from the flame Hashira, as both breathing styles are similar but not the same. As Tanjiro walks through the halls, he bumps into an arrogant slayer, but realizes that he was also part of the final selection having developed an amazing body since their last meeting. Bidding Aoi farewell, Tanjiro cheers up the sad Aoi, promising to remember her as she had helped train him. Greeting Kanao, Tanjiro watches as Kanao flips a coin, to decide if she should talk to Kanao. Chatting Tanjiro learns about Kanao's coin, 
finding the concept intriguing, but quite restricting. Coming up with a plan, Tanjiro borrows the coin and flips it. This time the conditions are whether Kanao should listen to her heart or not. With both awaiting the results, Tanjiro jumps for joy, seeing that the coin had told Kanao to follow her heart from now on. Before Tanjiro could leave, Kanao asks how Tanjiro knew which way the coin was going to land, but Tanjiro reveals that he was simply going to flip the coin, over and over, until it landed how he wanted to. As their final graduation exam, all three boys are able to blow up and explode a container, signaling the end of their training. With the boys thanking the little helpers for their hard work, Tanjiro chats with Giyu, thanking him for believing in him and Nizu heading towards their destination, both Inosuke and Tanjiro are freaked out by the train, having both only lived in the mountains. Inosuke suddenly attacks the train, which forces Zenitsu to flee with the two, before they are caught by stationed guards. Barely boarding the train, Zenitsu wonders why Tanjiro had brought Nizuko, but Tanjiro surmises that it would be a disservice to leave Nizuko, after all they've been through. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like and comment.